You know, yesterday marked the end of a long primary season. It was full of special moments and some tough ones too. But I have SEIU to thank for one of the best experiences I've had on this entire campaign. Some of you heard me talk about it when we were at a conference in Washington, and I know Anna mentioned it a few minutes ago. It came about when SEIU invited me and the other presidential candidates to spend a day with one of your members as part of a program called Walk a Day in My Shoes. The SEIU members uh, was paired, uh, I was paired up with was a home care worker named Pauline Beck. I, I don't know if Pauline's there, but she should be. And she deserves a vacation in Puerto Rico. Let, let, let her go to the beach while you guys are all meeting. Now this is a woman who wakes up each morning and goes to work to take care of an 87-year-old amputee. She makes his bed and gets him into his wheelchair. She makes his breakfast, she scrubs the floors, and cleans the rooms. On top of that, she's also taking care of a grandnephew and two foster children who don't have a family of their own. And she does it all with good cheer, without a trace of self-pity, just glad she can be of service to somebody. And over these past few months, whenever our primary became more about politics and less about people, whenever we got caught up in the daily tit-for-tat, I'd sometimes think about the day I spent with Pauline because it reminded me that for all the pettiness coming out of Washington, what holds this country together is this fundamental belief that we all have a stake in each other, that I am my brother's keeper, that I am my sister's keeper. It's the idea that led me to enter in. It's the idea that led me to enter into public service more than two decades ago that led me to turn down a job on Wall Street so I could work as a community organizer on the south side of Chicago and give job training to the jobless and hope to the hopeless after the local steel plants closed. It's the idea that's being lived out each day by the nurses I've met in Iowa, the corrections officers I've met in New Hampshire, the janitors I've met in Ohio, the home health care workers I've met in Florida. And it's the idea that's at the heart of this campaign. It's not just that this administration hasn't been fighting for you. They've actually tried you to, to stop you from fighting for yourselves. This is the most anti-labor administration in our memory. They don't believe in unions. They don't believe in organizing. They've packed the Labor Relations Board with their corporate buddies. Well, we've got news for them. It is not the Department of Management. It's the Department of Labor. And we are going to take it back. Change is building an economy that rewards not just wealth, but the work and workers who create it. It's understanding that struggles facing working families can't be solved by spending billions of dollars on more tax breaks for big corporations and wealthy CEOs. Change is a universal health care plan like the one I'm proud I proposed at a SEIU hospital. A plan that guarantees insurance to every American who wants it and brings down premiums for every family who needs it and cuts costs for businesses and their workers by picking up the tab for some of the most expensive illnesses and conditions and that stops insurance companies from discriminating and denying coverage to those who need it most and makes sure that health care providers are properly compensated and have decent working conditions. That's what change is. You see, politics didn't lead me to working folks. Working folks led me to politics. I was standing with American workers on the streets of Chicago 20 years ago. And the reason I'm running for president is because I don't want to wake up one day, many years from now, and see that our workers are still being denied good benefits and decent wages. The reason I'm running for president is because I know what it's like to see a mother get sick and worry that maybe she can't pay the bills. I know what it's like to go to college on student loans. I know what it's like to have to scratch and work and claw to build a better life for your family. And I don't want to wake up many years from now and find that the American dream is still out of reach for too many ordinary Americans. The reason I'm running for president is because I believe that if we can just put an end to the politics of division and distraction, if we can just reclaim the idea that Pauline makes real each day, the idea that led Audrey onto that picket line, 
that we all have a stake in each other, that we all have mutual obligations to one another. If we can just unite this country around a common purpose, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Native American, labor and management, Democrat, Republican, and independent, there is no obstacle we cannot overcome. And there's no destiny we cannot fulfill. At SEIU, that's the opportunity we have in this election. There's a moment in the life of every generation when that spirit of unity and hopefulness has to come through if we're going to make our mark on history. This is our moment, SEIU. This is our time. And if you keep marching with me and organizing with me in all the 50 states, if you keep knocking on those doors and making those phone calls and registering voters and talking to your friends and co-workers and neighbors, if I keep on seeing purple everywhere I go, if you vote for me, then I promise you this, we will win this general election. And then you and I, together, together, you and I, we are going to change this country and we are going to change the world. Thank you, guys. I love you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Obama. 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 Obama.